Oh my god, when you have a blocker running through the middle of your punt team completely unscathed and nobody missed an assignment, you know you got absolutely out-schemed. So, as San Diego State's punter was watching his ball get spiked like Oregon State suddenly decided to start playing volleyball mid-game, you may wonder what went so wrong for the Aztecs, and I love this because Oregon State actually uses the Aztecs' own play design against them. Let me tell you what I mean. So the Aztecs like to line up in this sort of weird formation. It almost looks like an offensive formation despite having a punter and a two-man shield. As you can see, this little bunch of players to the punter's right. Now, San Diego State had been doing this all game, kind of following up this sort of concept where they think that the Beavers are simply going to match man for man as long as they line up in this weird formation. And up to this point, that's exactly what had been happening, making life for the punter easy too easy the beavers would think to themselves so here's the problem the reason that you line up to match man for man is, is to prevent some sort of fake but the reality of the situation is that when you line up with three people outside here you don't need to match all three because there are only two eligible to run routes you see the gunner over here is actually covered by the one to his right but the beavers aren't going to let on that they are not concerned about covering that guy specifically so you see them line number five out there like they had usually been doing all night not alerting the coverage team especially because on the other side of the play here's this is this is the genius part okay they're actually going to overload that left side so now on top of the fact that they're showing nothing different on the right side all sirens are blaring that they are going to bring heavy pressure from the left which is a normal thing to do especially when you're on the left hash so the aztecs i have to assume the beavers knew that this was going to happen are going to actually check to roll out to the punter's right so in this situation number five is lined up like he's going to be blocking that inside gunner they've got a four-man rush that has only three blockers to that side and the aztecs are forced to check and roll to the right and the right side rusher and the backer for the beavers is going to show their hold up look they're going to pull the eyes of everybody relevant to block to that left side where the rush is coming so as the play unfolds it's like stealing candy from a baby the personal protector is going to pull to the left the punter is going to run to the right the shield on the other side has nobody so he's looking towards the middle for any sort of late rush but by the time he would see the lone rusher coming from his right side it is simply too late and the punt gets blocked and it is just a gorgeously drawn up play and they have nobody else to think but their own scheme and their own expectations trying to draw pressure away and pull people to the boundaries and using that to disguise the rush against them it was just beautifully executed and i love it